We are live. Welcome to everyone joining us. Welcome yep. to everyone joining us. <laughs> Come on in. Come on in, boys and girls. You know, we don't we don't discriminate. Make ourselves comfortable. We have snacks, beverages provided by Simon. I didn't get any snacks. Cheers. This, is bull, this is bullshit. They're in San Antonio. <laughs> Come get them. Hell yeah. All right. So what are we doing today? Today no, we are going to be playing Fantasy Horse. That that's, if you that's, guys, that's the game. That's the game. Let's go. If you guys remember uh the last time we played, I'll I'll give the rules for you guys and anybody else watching. So Fantasy Horse is like the basketball game that uh I know you're all familiar with. I've Kick JL's ass in it a bunch of times in college. Yeah, never played horse. Um, <laughs> says the loser. <laughs> we played um, basketball one time in college, and we were, we were on the same team, so I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I do remember that one, but you're forgetting all the times we played horse. Uh, I, I'm going to go with Simon here. I, I remember I ran I ran full force into a guy named Tank and was, like, critically <laughs> injured for, like, a month. Um, I hope not in horse. <laughs> Here's my shot. He was a horse. <laughs> um, so it's similar to the basketball game, but you guys, I'm going to ask you guys a question. You'll take, t uh, you know what? I'm going to try again explaining that. I have a list of, I have a list of questions and let's say it's Josh's turn to uh, take his shot. I'll give him a question. He can decide whether he wants to take that shot or whether he wants to pass it to jail. Uh, let's say he takes the shot. If he gets the question right, JL gets a letter. He will then be an H. If Josh takes the shot and gets the question wrong, he'll get a letter. Now, the same thing applies if he passes it to JL. JL gets it right. Josh gets a letter. JL gets it wrong. He gets a letter. We will do that until somebody spells out horse and the game is over. AKA JL spells out horse. Let's go. If JL so do so, the, last time, the last time Josh cheated... Gave Simon a little layup question. <laughs> Who scored more fantasy points last season, Jarvis Landry or Odell Beckham Jr.? I thought and it was a good question. You know, maybe some people didn't know it. it. All right, I'm sorry. Like half a second to be like, oh, I'm taking that one, Jarvis Landry, and that's what did me in. That is the only reason I lost. There was no other reason. Yeah, well, stop bitching about it and let's get into it. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, since Jail lost last time, uh, you're going to be going second. So I will throw the first question to Josh. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Let's go. Okay. The first question. In half PPR scoring in 2019, Christian McCaffrey was the RB1. Aaron Jones was the RB2. Who was the RB3? Ezekiel Elliott, Dalvin Cook, Derrick Henry, or Austin Eckler? I'm, Run that I'm back gonna... one more time. <laughs> okay. So in half PPR in 2019, Christian McCaffrey was the RB1. Aaron Jones was the RB2. Who was the RB3? I'm going to give you four options. Ezekiel Elliott, Dalvin Cook, Derrick Henry, or Austin Eckler? I'm so sure. I think I know the answer, but I don't want to look dumb, so I'm going to pass it to JL. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm used to looking dumb, so this is fine. I'll, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I will go. Uh, I will go with Derrick Henry. That's who I would have said. Okay, Jail, you are correct, and Josh. Derrick Henry was RB three. Ezekiel Elliott was RB four. Dalvin Cook was RB five, and Austin Eckler was RB six. I had no doubt. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, no, actually, Eckler threw me off a little bit. You know, maybe half point PPR though. So, should have. Uh, your, uh, your lack of confidence did you in that round. You now have an H. Jail. It is your turn to pick. Question two. You ready? Let's do this. So I found a poll on Twitter that asked, "Who would you rather have in Dynasty, Nicole Hardman or Preston Williams? What side do people prefer?" Uh. Nicole Harmon or Preston Williams. Uh, I'm going to take this. I would and like I'm going to go with Nicole Harmon. That's who I would say. Those you are correct. correct. Hot Woo! start. <laughs> God, God, he's not going to be paying attention. You okay. might be able to play two games with the questions I've mm -mm. I got to make sure uh, I give JL at least uh, a couple letters. Let's go. 
No more uh, passes. <laughs> JL is off to a hot start. Uh, Josh is a hoe, and JL is a. So, question three. <laughs> Do you think that JL is a. <laughs> okay. Cool. I like it. Um, question three, Josh. You ready? I think so. Sure. Okay. In 2019, Mark Andrews finishes the tight end five in PPR leagues, and Evan Ingram finishes the tight end 18. Who had a higher points per game? Say it again. Say it one more time. In 2019, Mark Andrews finishes the tight end five in PPR. Evan Ingram finishes the tight end 18. Who had a higher points per game in the 2019 season? So I have a little bit of context here. Just did a uh, redraft league last weekend, and I had I took Evan Ingram. Um Mostly because of his like three or four games he played last year, maybe five. Um, they were all elite production games. I'm going to go Evan Ingram, even though I'm not 100 percent sure. I just know those games. He did score a ton of points. So you're taking the question to go on Evan Ingram? Taking the question yeah, on Evan Ingram. So Evan Ingram played in eight games eight. and had 13.7 points per game. Pretty damn good, mm -hmm. right? Mark mm -hmm. Andrews played in 15. And he had 13.8 points per game. Mark Andrews is the answer. Woo! I'm, I'm, you know, I, I can't help myself. I, 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 I do not remember Evan Ingram playing that many games. That, that's blowing my mind. Last that's all of blowing my minutes. mind. All three. Oh, yeah, how far are we at? Like five I wish minutes. I, didn't, I wish I didn't suck so much, you know? <laughs> I mean, like, oh, man. See, I'm like over here on my phone trying to look it up, but I'm like, <laughs> He's not trying to I'll cheat. look it up later. You, you know? can't even do that right. <laughs> no, no, I'm not trying to cheat. I just, I, I, I could have sworn Evan Ingram like played four, four games. But... <laughs> I'm gonna trust Simon here. All right. Okay, uh, JL, you ready? You are a nothing, and Josh, you are an H O R. However you want to pronounce that. Um, or <laughs> JL, this question is the battle of the DJs. In a PPR league, who scored more fantasy Ooh. points in 2019? DJ Moore or DJ Chark? That's a good question. Say it again. In a PPR league, who scored more fantasy points in 2019? DJ Moore or DJ Chark? Oh, uh, okay. Do I want to take this one? Um, I'm going to pass this one to Josh. Who, I mean, who scored more fantasy points in a PPR league yep. per, per game or just in general? In general, for the whole season. I'm going to go DJ Moore. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty certain about that. I know DJ Chark missed a couple games, um, but he had – if yeah, if it was points per game, I'd, uh, I'm going to go with DJ Moore. Okay. So on the season, DJ Chark had 225.5 fantasy points in a PPR league. Five points. DJ Moore – at 230.5. So DJ Moore outscored DJ Chark. Thank God. Come <laughs> on. Dale, you oh, were on the board with an H. I did it for if the viewers. I... I did it so that they wouldn't be falling asleep or that we wouldn't have to end this in like 30 seconds. Oh, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, 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 don't, I don't think I could have handled a sweep. <laughs> okay. So Dale, I'll pass that one to Josh. Josh capitalized on the opportunity he was handed, and JL now has an H. Josh is sitting at H-O-R. Josh, your question. Hit me. Last one Battle of the DJs. This one is Battle of the Second Fiddle. Ooh. In a PPR league, who scored more fantasy points last year, Michael Gallup or Calvin Ridley? Oh, my God. These are great questions, Simon. Um Michael Gallup. It, 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 what kind of league you said? PPR? PPR. PPR league. Who scored more fantasy points? Oh, man, I know it was so freaking close. Um, I am going to go with Calvin Ridley, but I, I think it was really close. So and I'm going to take the question, obviously. Okay. <laughs> and I'm also going to pass it. Josh <laughs> takes a question. So last season, Michael Gallup scored 212.7 fantasy points in a PPR league. That's a, lot of, that's a lot of points. Calvin Ridley, Jail, do you have a guess? What do you think on this one? I was going to say Gallup just because I feel like that's a – I'm trying to play you. I'm not even yeah, I, under, I understand. I, like I understand that. 
Yeah, no, I think Simon. Yeah, it, it, it seems more obvious that Ridley would be the answer. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Sam. Calvin Ridley scored 197 fantasy points last year in a PPR league. Man, yeah, Gallup? that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, Gallup beat him. I lost. Yeah. Gallup is the higher score. I suck. I suck. Ah! <laughs> See, I'm glad I wore pants. We're not asking, I'm not asking enough quarterback questions. The second live stream, Josh. <laughs> I, only know quarterback, I only know quarterbacks. I only know quarterbacks. No, this is uh, – that, these are good questions. Um, I – yep. <laughs> sorry if you oh, I got my, dog. my dog. My dog's dreaming in the background. Can you hear that? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I can. <laughs> he's cheering um, me on. Yeah, he's Hi. in his sleep. Um, he sounds more terrified. So, Josh, you are one letter away from losing. Um, Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me, Simon. <sighs> If you lose, I say we play another round. I would just need to make Dude, one more question to make that happen. Because <laughs> um, right. I, I would just have to uh, – maybe a couple more. But we can play it by ear. We'll see what happens. Uh, JL, the final question – or maybe not. The question to win the game. <laughs> is it an over or under question? And a four-point per passing touchdown league, was Baker Mayfield's lowest scoring game of last year – over or under six fantasy points? <laughs> over or oh, yeah. under six fantasy points. Assuming that he played the whole game. Does this include the games he Just played? Just his lowest scoring game. Games that he actually like at least played though, right? Like not. Yes, like, no. yes. Okay. Yeah, no, games that he played. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to pass this to Josh. Okay. Um, I am going to say that it, I know he had some bad games last year, but six is pretty low, pretty bad. I, I, I hate this. I, I'm going to say he did not score under six fantasy points last year. And hopefully we don't have to play another game quite yet. So what are you taking? You're taking the over? over yeah. Taking the over. Okay. So his lowest scoring game of the year came in week five against San Francisco. He threw for zero touchdowns. Oh. He had 22 attempts and eight oh. completions for 100 total yards. And he had two interceptions to give him a final score of negative two on the week. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I got destroyed. <laughs> when I initially wrote that question, I wrote it as zero, but I thought that would make it – like if I put it that low, that it would be like, well, for him to ask if it was over under zero, it's probably under. Man, so it just, it, it it's, it's making me realize like uh, there, there's – there's a lot to learn out there still, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I thought I thought I had, you know, I thought I was, you know, a genius. I had all the fantasy football answers, but no, you a horse. I'm a horse. I'm a full on horse, horse. Yikes, that was rough, guys. I'm sorry. Well, Jail, that only took you um six questions to take Josh out. Yeah. I feel I'm disgusted. Final score of horse to huh. <laughs> That's how you guys I want like that score. Do you guys want to play one more round? Sure. Yes, got, I need. I need it. Yeah, I need it. Yourself. I need I'm probably it. Gonna have to, I'll have to come up with some questions on the fly at the end, but I've got a couple more. Up, why don't you come up with a question, and Josh and I will will review or recount a movie that we both enjoy. <laughs> what, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna do like a play by play of The Ringer? No, I did that last time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this time uh, it's Borat. Because didn't you hear Borat Josh, too just coming out? Josh, what's, what's up? Favorite, what's your favorite my fa- movie? My favorite movie is. Pulp Fiction, but okay. that's probably not. Uh... That's way too. It's way too long. To <laughs> yeah, let's, yeah. Let's go with, you've seen Step Brothers, right? I I love Step Brothers. I mean, Who I've doesn't? seen it probably at least ten times. Um, All right, so we're gonna we're just gonna break down Step Brothers. So it's two forty year old guys. You know, mm-hmm, they're just mm-hmm, living their life, and their course. parents get married, and so yes. now they now they're Step Brothers. They gotta figure out how to get along. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but you know, they're not very motivated people. Um, no, you know, no. you know, they're not very motivated. They still I mean, live 40, with their parents. Yeah, forty years old living with their parents. I mean, I, I personally don't think it makes a lot of sense for you know them to all move in together, you know, into one big happy family. But you know, you got to make a good movie, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it would be a pretty weird movie if they just lived on their own and their parents got married. It would just be a normal everyday life. 
So first of all, I, I gotta ask, do you think John C. Riley and Will Ferrell hang out like outside of like acting? I don't know. They're in a lot of movies together, you know? I was recently watching an interview uh, with Will Ferrell and he didn't once mention John C. Riley, so that makes me think, no. They hate they, each other. They don't talk at all. Yeah. They, so. they have to hate each other. Um, that's the only logical explanation there. Yeah, but they seem like they would both be really cool to hang out with. Oh, oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Um, you, know, you know what's an interesting fact I just realized like last week was, hey, uh, have you ever seen Parks and Rec? I have seen most of the show. Yeah. Okay, so uh, if you, uh, you know, in the in the movie, Will Ferrell's uh, older brother, who's like a normal, successful in... helicopter salesman, like most people's normal brothers. Are oh, like, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Whatever. Uh, Scott, forget... Scott. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forget yeah, yeah. his name in, in, the, in the show. Um, and his wife, I can't remember her name, the actress, but, uh, and they're like saying, you know, they sing in the car and everything. He's like a, a douchebag. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what's the song I'm trying to think? Sweet Child of Mine. <laughs> Someone was playing this at like a recent, like, to and house and they, to me. Yeah. No way me I would have like remembered this if I didn't just go to someone's house like a few weeks ago and they would have just had this playing on in the background. So That's I awesome. But <laughs> That's the, a- the wife in that, uh, the wife to Adam Scott, it plays uh, Jennifer Barkley, who's like the campaign um, campaign director. Or right, whatever, the real intense. Rudd. Yeah, and Adam Scott plays obviously uh, Ben in Parks and Rec. Yeah, I never realized that actually. Um, yeah. it's that's totally intense. random. It's not even really a fun fact. It's just like two actors who are in similar things. But I thought it was good. Remember, well, she yeah. like she like starts hooking up with John C. Riley. She starts like making out with them on the doorstep yeah. as they're leaving. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's because he, uh, he, Derek, that's his name in the movie. It's Derek, yes, Derek. yeah, yeah, he, he, Derek. Derek, never mind, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were thinking no, about no. that the whole time. No, 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 I actually, right when you said the kissing thing, I, she was like, did you, is it true you, uh, like, punched Derek? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the treehouse. I want to roll you up into a ball and shove you, <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, uh, we <laughs> done. All right, Simon, you get a question yet? Yeah, I got it. I mean, you're only gonna need five. I'm. I, I let JL have the first one, and now we'll just you know cut through these five. Yeah. Five. If, you, if you guys cut through the rest of these, then uh, I'm up with some more. <laughs> but um, yeah. The, my so, second favorite movie. If you would have asked me, I would probably would have said The Matrix. By the way. Really interesting. The, only the first one. I like all of them just because I like the concept. But the mm-hmm. first one's really only like really good movie. But I digress. Interesting. Yeah, that's an interesting pick. All right, Tom. Let's go. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. So I'm, Jay, I'm more focused this time. You won the last one, so you get to go first this time. Where did we leave off? Right here. Okay. So we got another over or under question. According to ESPN ADP, is the number of running backs drafted in the first round of a 12 team league this year over or under 10.5? Running back. I have to hear everything twice before I can deliberate. So according to ESPN ADP, okay, and this is ESPN standard scoring, mm-hmm. is the number of running backs drafted in the first round of a 12-team league, so the first 12 picks, over or under 10.5? 12-team league, 10.5. That's a good question. Oh, yeah, it's got to be close. Um, we're in a draft that started last night. It's like a slow draft, and – it's definitely true there, but that's 14, 14 team. But it was like, what, what did you say? 14 out of the first 18 picks were running backs? Uh, I will take Come this one. I'll take this give one. Give it to I'll me, Jail. Give it to me. What was the, what was the number again? 10.5? I want 10.5. 10.5 in 12 team B. I'm going to go with – I'm going to go with under. Barely. It's a tough like, one, actually. Bar- like barely. Barely? Okay. So the number of running backs drafted in the first round of a 12-team league, according to ESPN ADP, is 10. Michael Thomas is projected as the sixth yes. overall pick, and Mahomes has an ADP of 12. Yes. So Mahomes, Mahomes, Mahomes is, is – okay. Mahomes I was trying to think. Mahomes is the only other non-running back. Wow. I See – I, I got. I'm. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I would have said over. <laughs> <laughs> I. I. I was like Michael Thomas, and then I'm like, who else? Who else? Who else belongs there? And like, no if one really. If you had put book. the line slightly under, that would have like, I would have no idea where to go. On. If you would have said like nine point eight or something, or like 
anywhere between. What I say for eight. Eight. <laughs> ADP is measured in uh, fractions sometimes. What are you talking about? <laughs> right, but this wasn't ADP. It was the number selected. Yeah. Well, I just figure it's average. In average, you get floats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, average. What's say, you know, you got the question right. You know, I went twice. I beat Whatever, both you know? I beat yeah, both yeah. You, you get a point over Simon, too. So it's one <laughs> okay, to nothing. Josh. <laughs> Josh, you ready? You got an H. Let's go. This one's kind of like question one. All right. In a half of the last game, in half PPR scoring in 2019, Travis Kelsey was the tight end one. George mm -hmm. Kittle was the tight end two. Yeah. Who was the tight end three? Mark Andrews, Darren Waller, or Zach Ertz? That's a, that's that's a tough one. Um, in a half point, you said half point. Waller. Ertz or Andrews. I'm going to take this. Even though I'm not extremely confident, I and I would not draft it this way this year, I am going to say that Waller scored the most points out of those three last year. Joe, what do you think? I think it's Andrews. And I'm it's from this guy's I'm smile. Glad, I'm glad that Josh didn't pass it to me because I can't tell whether you would try and throw me off by giving, giving me the obvious answer or not. So I'm just going to say in, Andrews. I'm going to follow my gut here. In half PPR scoring, Josh. Mm -hmm. Tight end one, Travis Kelsey. Tight end two, George Kittle. Tight end five, Zach Ertz. Oh, God. Tight end three, it was Darren Waller. You got it. Oh, yeah. the way. If you guys the way. read my Twitter thread, you would know yeah. that. You, 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 why'd you do that to me? <laughs> <laughs> he walks away. Ooh, I, could, I, I thought for sure I was right. That was a I weird was reveal. Like, you like counted down from six to five. You really like wanted classic, to. Uh, let's make a deal. One where like they open one of the doors that they know isn't the big door. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I got the curtain three. Oh, they always do that. Isn't there like a goat behind the door in like the original game or something? What? Well, they they have zonks or whatever. Oh, okay. Are they called zonks? I think uh, that's yeah. what they're called. <laughs> game shows are weird, man. Yeah, I, yeah right, they so. are. <laughs> <laughs> so H to H. Yes, it is. H to H. Okay. In 2019, this is for JL. So back to 2019, which duo of wide receivers scored more points in a PPR league? Chris Godwin and Mike Evans or Cooper Cup and Robert Woods? Chris Godwin, Mike Evans, or Cooper Cup and Robert Woods? Cooper Cup and Robert Woods or Mike huh. Evans and Chris Godwin? Think... You said PPR? Yep. Interesting. Cooper Cup and Robert Woods. Hmm. Chris Godwin, my guess. Oh, I don't know. Um, I like that uh, question. I'm gonna pass that to Josh too. I'm gonna let him. You're gonna you're gonna make, try to make me look like the dumb one here because. Yeah. I mean, because like. I'm just gonna say that I already thought that the right answer was uh, was exactly what I thought from the start, but I'm just passing to you. Yeah, I mean, life. it it seems again. It's like one of the. It just seems obvious in my mind that. Godwin and Evans scored more, but I know Cooper, both Cooper Cup and Robert Woods had great years. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Mike Evans and Godwin, and if I look dumb by saying it, so be it. I know they missed a couple games at the end of the year, and maybe that's the reason why they're less. But I'm gonna still stick with them. I was gonna go with the the Rams. So okay, cool. Yeah, cool. we'll see. So Cooper Cup and Robert Woods combined scored 503.4 fantasy points in a PPR league last year. I think Godwin and Evans. Here. Chris Godwin and Mike Evans scored 508.8 fantasy points oh last God. year. They barely edged him out by about five points. I should have <gasps> known that you would have set this question yeah, up. Mike, Mike Evans. Make Mike right. Evans look good. Oh. But like, yeah, I just remember in my mind, I, I, I think they were both like top 10 or borderline top 10 for Mike Evans. I mean, you know, Receivers. It was a lot closer than I thought whenever I was looking at yeah, that. I was looking at the ranks and I was like, man, I didn't realize uh, how close those players were. Chris Godwin and Cooper Cup were pretty close, and then Robert mm -hmm. Woods and Mike Evans were both pretty close as well. Yeah. In the PPR League, I believe Robert Woods outscored Mike Evans by a little bit. That's where the yeah. – That's he closes the challenge between Godwin and Cup. 
So Jay, I'm a hoe. You a hoe. Josh, you are a uh hoe. -huh. It's gonna be the reverse of the last game. <laughs> okay, I'm Jason, running out of questions. You so, should, you had them all at the beginning. Of, that's why we did the whole thing. I made a couple, <laughs> but we're not gonna get. Why are you still making up fly. questions? You know, I guess if we run out, whoever's winning. Um. No, no, no. I'll I'll come up with some on the fly. We will we will free ball it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, who's more handsome, me my or favorite. me? <laughs> um, me. Josh, <laughs> over yes. or under? I know I'm more handsome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In 2019, non-PPR leagues. So standard, standard scoring, right? Okay. Did over or under 10 flex players score more points than the Patriots DST? Say that again. In 2019 standard leagues, did yeah. over or under 10 flex players, so wide receiver, running back, tight ends, score more points <laughs> than the Patriots DST on the season? You look oh so confused. My... No, I understand. Okay. So it's just the yeah, yeah, Patriots DST. Over or under points? flex players. What do you mean by that? Take out the quarterbacks. Flex players is okay. just another way of saying wide receiver, running back, or tight end. I know that. Thank you. I'm saying you just asked. What do you mean by that? Don't be like, what do you mean? I fucking knew. I know so, what so flex is. I'm asking. You said top, like oh, you said top ten flex players. So you're saying no. like, did over or under ten flex players score more points than the Patriots DST? It's like how many positional players scored more points than the Patriots? So, so, you know, you, you got quarterbacks, wide receivers, tight ends, running oh, backs, okay. and defense I, in a league. Take I out the quarterbacks. Well, it's the Patriots defense in the top 10 scoring, pretty much. I guess that's what's asking, essentially. But um oh man, I I don't know. I know I know they were in the top 10 for a large period of time last year, but I know they kind of slacked off a little bit at the end of the year. So I'm going to let JL look dumb. So go ahead, JL. <laughs> All right. So over or under 10. I'm going to say over. That's probably what over. I'm going to do. Over. Okay. But if I get this wrong, I'm just going to say that I didn't understand the question. Yeah. And Simon's ball. an idiot. Yeah. Simon's yeah. an idiot. Yeah. 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 So, so, yeah. <laughs> last year, I'm going to list off the players that scored more points than the Patriots DST Christian McCaffrey, Derrick Henry. Aaron Jones, Ezekiel Elliott. He doesn't have to. Dalvin he doesn't Cook. have more than ten fingers. What is he Michael do? Thomas. End of list. Oh, six, six positional that's... players in standard league scored more than the Patriots DST. Two hundred and twenty-five fantasy points on the year. That's I should nuts. have known. Like that would have been such a stupid question to come up with if like the answer was super <laughs> obvious. Like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I thought, yeah. Over I was under, how many flex players scored more than Jeremy Hill? Oh, <laughs> God, I don't know. How many players played last year? I don't <laughs> that, uh, that, was, that was a good one. I like I'm that mixing, one. I'm mixing it up with the obvious answer and the not obvious answer. Trying to... Oh, trying remember. To that. That. I'm off my game. Let's go. Wait, you're okay. a whore now. Yeah, yes, Jail's H-O-R, uh, however you wish to pronounce it. Josh has his own pronunciation. And Josh, you are still a huh. And we are now into the... Uh... <laughs> Yo, don't We're now into the, the free ball questions. These are off the cuff. Who knows if they're going to be too hard. Yeah, Aaron Stop Jones was on free ball. Aaron Jones was on the list, uh, Tim McDaniel, 17. Definitely not Parker. Definitely not um, Parker and his wife. <laughs> and freaking Tim. Him. <laughs> um, okay. Last year, Jameis Winston threw 30 interceptions. Did he throw more or fewer inter or, uh, touchdowns than that? Jameis, last year, Jameis Winston threw 30, inter 30 uh, interceptions. 30 interceptions. He threw less or more touchdowns. Whose turn is this? I forget. Oh, it's Josh passed it to jail, Jail, right? Jails. You passed it to me, so now it's mine. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Josh passed it to Jails, so now it's Jails turn. All right. Um, let's see. Over the, well, if if Mike Evans and Chris Godwin did so well. Oh, God. When did James – when did, did James play all last season? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say – Oh God, thirty is so hard. Did he do more than thirty? I'm gonna say yes. No, yes. 
Final answer? Maybe. Yes. No, no, definitely no. Final answer is no. <laughs> no, he did not. Yes. So he grew okay. less than <laughs> less than 30? Yeah, less, less than 30. 30. Less okay, than 30. got it. Last year, Jameis Winston threw. I thought it was. Wait, no, so go ahead. 33 touchdowns. Go! 30 interceptions. So combined, that's a pretty good number. Man, that dude was swinging it. I said uh, I said over first, so that counts. Hey, yeah. <laughs> you'll get you'll get half an half an S, which is you know, for all it. the questions going forward, I'm gonna just throw in an answer and then you know switch it. How did Josh right, will this into existence? This is the same it's all exact about thing. manifesting things, you know? It's oh. all about the energy, you know, the vibes. We're good. Uh, you do have the degree hanging up behind you. Uh, you're an educated I'm, I'm, man. I'm a genius. You're more than me. You you wish you had a Towson University degree like that. My friend never will. Says, never will is, though. Is uh, is he just humble bragging, or does he have a PhD in fantasy? That no, it actually if you if I zoom in, um, it it, it literally says, ta- uh, uh, what does it say? It says uh, Bachelor of Science, <laughs> Fantasy Football. So best grandson in the world. Yeah. <laughs> No, you can't actually see it, can you? Oh, no, you can't. Okay. <laughs> All right. Is there a security number on there? <laughs> um, Josh, it is your turn. Okay. And this. And I'm about to win. <laughs> this is for the game. The final question. According to ESPN ADP this year, who is being drafted first? Travis Kelsey or Joe Mixon? Wait, wait, wait. Say that again. According to ESPN ADP, who is being drafted first? Travis Kelsey or Joe Mixon? In what type, what format? It's across all ESPN leagues. I'm going to take the majority. I would say majority ESPN standard scoring. Which is half point. This game? I'm going gonna, to take this gonna, question, guys. You're going to return the favor after he helped you, giving you that easy layup last so, time? Hey, let's see. Let's see how easy it is. Collusion. I, I, I have a feeling I'm about to just like, get up, smacked pal. in the face here. This is collusion. About, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Thank you, by the way, Simon. But um, no, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> listen, yes, I mean, question. I could see ESPN's ADP like being different, but in my mind, there's such an obvious answer. And man, if it's not if it's not Joe Mixon, I'm mind blown. I'm gonna go with Joe Mixon, locking it in. Final answer. JL, is that what you think too? Yes, that's what everyone thinks. It's the obvious answer. But but who knows? I could. According to, uh, according to ESPN's ADP, Joe Mixon's average draft position is pick number twenty-two. Travis Kelsey's average draft position is pick 20. No way. I just what? did a fantasy draft and I took Joe Mixon 10th, I think. So that's kind of weird. But this, yeah, this is live draft trends I'm looking at right now. So this actually requires no fantasy knowledge. It's just like baloney knowledge of ESPN. <laughs> like it's knowledge. On ESPN. Yeah, why, are you, why are you bitching? You got a letter. You got a point. Oh, it's so weird. Yeah. a letter. Yeah, yeah. He, he forgot about that. He was, like, he was like, oh, wait, wait, wait. I got it right. I got it right. Never mind. <laughs> He's like, Josh, I mean, you idiot. I didn't get it right. I just did not get it wrong. Like Josh, the idiot. Man, it would have been so much better if J- that was JL's question. And he was just like, oh, thank you, Simon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, Simon. exactly. Tim McDaniels knows this is why no one uses ESPN. No, I'm joking. ESPN's good. Great source. Yeah, everyone can use it. Um, oh, my favorite I has think, been like, the, the trade. Oh, you know, like the trade, uh, Watson trade evaluator. Have you guys oh seen that? God. Yeah. There have been some very comical trade suggestions. I'm, by, was, I'm sure. What was the one I sent to you the other day, JL? It was like Tariq Cohen and Devontae yeah. Parker for uh, Clyde Edwards Alaire. It was and Joe Mixon, Clyde Wait, Edwards Alaire, and Will. So they wanted me to trade away. They obviously hate Joe Mixon. Like, that's the. What? They wanted me to trade away Will Fuller, Joe Mixon, and Clyde Edwards Alaire for Todd Gurley and Tariq Cohen. Wow. What? They're like, would you like to trade your first two round picks plus Will Fuller for somebody else's third round pick? Yeah, like I mean, like that makes sense. Like just Clyde Edwards Lair for I don't know. Um, whatever. All right. Uh okay. You guys ready? Yeah. I, I think so. 
Whose turn is it? It is JL's turn. Yep. Okay, this is another one. Just off no. the cuff. This is, is free ball five? question number three. Yeah, because Josh picked to answer it. that one. No. He said, I'm going to pick it. Okay. All right, go ahead. Um, so, JL, yeah. in, half, in half PPR leagues in 2019, who scored more fantasy points? Devontae Parker or Kenny Galladay? Um, okay. Half wow, that's a really good question. Oh, yeah, that is good. Um, God, I feel like the obvious, like Simon wants me to pick Kenny Galladay. That's who he's expecting me to pick. But I am not going to play his game. Or am I? <laughs> or you're just going to pass it. <laughs> or I might just pass it. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, Devontae Parker. I feel like Devontae Parker, if he is the reason that I lose this game, um, it doesn't matter because I already hate him and will never draft him ever again. So I'm just sure words. I will say that Devontae Parker scored more. Final answer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I would have said the same thing, but I know what you're, I could see it going both ways. That, Simon. I know what you're trying I could, to do. I here. could see it going both ways. I really could. So, but I, I would have said Devontae Parker. Last year in half PPR, Devontae Parker finishes the number seven overall wide receiver with 210.2 fantasy points. I hate when he starts with the one that I picked. It makes me think that I'm wrong every time. Kenny Galladay okay. finished with 215.5 fantasy points. Josh, you are the winner. <laughs> Wait, that was half point PPR, right? That was half point PPR. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I'm sure in full point, I think it would be. Yeah. Hey, I'm the uh, best. Hey, like it doesn't even matter that you won the first game. I'm going out on top. It feels it feels so good, you know. Like I. <laughs> this was just a consolation game. We just played this because we had extra time. It didn't mean anything. No, I heard that the first game was a warm-up game, and the second no, game no. was the one that really counted. Um, yeah. It looks like we're going to have to have a, a rubber match, maybe? A what? Maybe? R rubber. Rubber. Rubber match. Oh. Rubber. Rubber. Rubber match. Rubber match, okay. That's the right word, right? I have no <laughs> Best two out of three? Does that make sense? That makes yes. sense? I've heard that right. one, yes. Oh, yeah. You have. Okay, well, um, I'm out of questions. <laughs> uh, I can keep making them up on the spot, but they're going to start. We can, we can talk about the more movies, you know. They're going to yeah. start becoming eerily similar. Um, mm, no, that was fun. All right. What well, I was going to do, if you, you guys want to do what my tiebreaker was going to be, if we played one game and you guys both happened to like make it to a horse, I had a random tiebreaker question. I was going to pull some bullshit where if someone had HORS and the other person was horse, I was going to give on. them one more chance to. Uh, we could do this for like the winner. Oh, right. yeah. We make, can use... make it quick. Make it quick. Okay. Yeah. Tiebreaker question is just going to be, you guys are going to tell me how many points in a standard league did Christian McCaffrey score last year? Whoever's closer wins. Well, who, who has to answer first? How about you guys both write it down? Do you have a pen and paper? Or you can send it to me over Slack. I got a pen and paper. I think I just keep so how many points did you score in 2020? 2019, 2020. Yeah, 2020, Josh, in 2020. Well, zero. Yeah. Do you, so do you guys want to do standard or do you want to do half? I have both written down. Let's do half. JL? Okay. You okay with half? Hmm? I don't know what to write down now. <laughs> yeah, this <laughs> number, this. Uh, it's a big number. This number is going to be huge. I have no like relative scale. Me either. <laughs> Dude, can you tell yeah. us like how much like uh like okay <laughs> let's see you know what i'll give you something like tell us how much like mark ingram scored or something like that <laughs> where the frick is my yeah that's mouth? fair just give us something to go off of because i don't look at all of the points of all running backs okay, okay. the number 24 running back was raheem moster last year mm-hmm we all know christian mccaffrey was number one so that's no yes. secret. raheem moster was the number 24 running back and he scored 158.2 points. Oh, my God. That makes it so much not easier. <laughs> I, I'm glad I did not show you my original guess. <laughs> you got some help from uh, from Tim McDaniels. Oh, 
Tim McDaniels. We changed it to half PPR. I okay. I I think I'm okay. I think I got a guess. I got something written down. I don't know how I feel about it, but I'm just gonna go with it. And it might be. I feel like it could be really high. <laughs> Uh, Joe, you got your answer written down? No, I think it's good. I think it's I've good. I've erased it like four times. All right. Um, da, na, na, all right. Na, na, na. Wait, I got to write it bigger. <laughs> I heard it real small. All right. Okay. We got, we got Parker's answer locked in. All if right. he's what, closer to both of you, then nobody wins. No, oh, God. <laughs> For the, all the marbles. So Parker locked in in the crowd with 393. Josh, what did, what did you lock in with? 393. What did you lock in with? That is not on the blank piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> no way. 327. Jail, what did you lock in with? 328. No. I don't like my answer. I like <laughs> so Christian McCaffrey last season in half PPR scored 413.2 points. <laughs> I prices rated him. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I wish I didn't hear the 24 overall. I had a high I had high three hundreds. And you then I heard me. 150. And I was like, oh before, like before triple. You said that, before you said that, I had 247. <laughs> Do you know what so the second place? Just, just so you know how dominant Christian McCaffrey was last year. RB two was Aaron Jones. Um, he scored probably around three hundred ninety point three. That's insane. Oh my god. He was like one hundred and twenty <laughs> points. Wait, Parker wins. You guys both lose. Parker's the winner. <laughs> what? Are, what are we doing on this? You know, get Parker in here. Lowest, and, uh... yes, uh, oh no, he did. He did. He did change his. To hey, Parker, you're, you're coming on next time. I'll I'll send you the invite. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Whatever. Whenever we play, uh, he didn't do so we'll hot the last time he was on. <laughs> yeah, me and Landon kicked his ass. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You and Landon. Well, good work, guys. You guys each won a game, but Parker took home the title to end it. <laughs> Congrats, Parker. Based good job, man. I mean, based like, off Josh's uh, rules, I won last, so I am the champion. Yeah, good Parker job, man. Won. Well, I, that wasn't real. That was kind of like, you know, whatever. Like, just, yeah. Uh, we will be back again streaming tomorrow at um, probably around the same time. Yeah. Probably between 2 and 3 Eastern time. We'll update you on Twitter. Parker, we'll send you a direct link. Josh, yeah. ask your mom if you can come out to play at that time. I hope she lets me. <laughs> You know, I'll get my grandma. She wrote me my uh, degree up there, you know. <laughs> I sent my mom to stream. I don't know if she's watching this week. If you are, hi, she mom. She be watching. I, I she told me she would, but she never replied. I would find it hard to believe that we have nine viewers and one of them isn't my mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Signing off because both are losers. Parker's the winner. Um, we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, peace. Love you guys.